Some of the things that curators can't really address is the, the market for Maud Lewis. In some way, some people see it as a crazy market for Maud Lewis. And I know when we uh, first set our sights on the work over 20 years ago to seriously promote Maud Lewis, we were often looked upon, you know, as a joke among a lot of her peers in the industry, uh, who are now glad to get Maud Lewis's, by the way. But uh, it was like, what? You know, these silly little childlike paintings, you know, why, why are these so good? Um, but it was, I always say that the, the, the people found Maud Lewis long before the institutions. And even today, the National Gallery doesn't own a Maud Lewis. Uh, or Winnipeg Art Gallery probably doesn't own a Maud Lewis. Now, I would have to imagine they'd be quite happy to take the donation of any of you people who own these Maud Lewis's here <laughs> that are on these walls tonight <coughs> going into the future. Um, but, it, 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 you know, this, this often happens. You know, we get so used to uh, seeing things that are brought to our attention by the gallery industry, by the museum industry, by books that are written long before people really start collecting the art. <coughs> Maud was collected long before any of the books were written, you know. In fact, she was probably the most successful artist that Nova Scotia ever produced. She sold everything she ever painted in her entire life. And even though people say, oh, well, there were $3, there were $5, there were $10 by the end of her life, but even then, <coughs> in 1950, to spend five dollars on a painting, it was probably a day or a couple of days wages, you know, so it didn't come easy. So if you put it in perspective of artists of that time, <coughs> you jump back 50 years, and I, I, I brought along, I was looking for it here tonight, I brought along a Sotheby catalog from 1970. I, the, I couldn't find it, yeah. In, in, the, in, the, uh, in the Sotheby catalog, there's a Tom Thompson, which sold in 1970 for $13,000. And it's a beautiful Thompson, it's probably 1916. And, uh, and today that painting is worth probably $2 million. Small little painting. So put it in perspective of a model Lewis that sold for $5, uh, that sold for $5 at the same time, and today, we're seeing forty, fifty dollars. So, if you take a look at the, the Tom Thompson, if you had to invest it in Maud Lewis in, in 1970, and took your thirteen thousand dollars that you spent on your Tom Thompson and bought, what went down to Digby, Nova Scotia, and saw it on the edge of the road and bought every Maud Lewis that you painted, <laughs> today your collection would be worth sixty-four million dollars. <laughs> So, for the same amount of money that bought a Tom Thompson in 1970, you know. So, <coughs> you know, when you put it in perspective, Model Lewis has probably been the best investment that anybody could make in Canadian art. And, uh, and so, the recent, uh, and I'm sure you've all got the question on the recent auction of <coughs> $350,000, which was plus 18% buyer's premium, plus tax, which you paid GST on, so came out to about four hundred and eighteen thousand dollars whenever <coughs> whenever everything shook out. These things happen in the art industry, and we're quite used to it. It does get attention, and it and it it does rise the tide somewhat on the overall market. And I, you know, people are now curious as to what their model uses are worth. We've sold over two hundred and fifty of them in the last twenty years and no doubt we'll be doing appraisals and upgrading appraisals and so on. However, I still maintain the value of Maud Lewis is probably based on what the next 20 will sell for. But if you, if you look at the value today versus what it was 10 years ago versus what it was 10 years ago versus what it was 25, 30, 40, 50 years ago, Maud's work has had a steady increase and that's because people just love them. People love them. People won't part with them. They'll give them to their kids. They'll probably give them to a museum one day. And, uh, and that's, that's, that will keep on going. Maud Lewis is more popular than she was in 1965, as she will be 20 years from now.